Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for what might very well be the final hour of the poor little raider ship in the asteroid belt. So let's get back into it. Um, you were in the middle of doing something, or or have you concluded your turn? Uh, if I still can, I would like to hail the fr uh, the sword class frigate. Did you do anything? Uh, this turn, no. Who did something this turn then? Because I did, I shot. So you shot who did something else? I did the lock on thing and failed. I ordered the crew to spin around and move as fast. And did I? Yeah, you helped with the maneuver nonsense. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, so Hakun is the only one who hasn't done an action yet. In this turn. Alright, yeah, you can if you if you want. Uh, this is the Ferrugo uh, Hairstrom. Uh, sword class frigate in the asteroid belt. Please identify yourself and keep your distance for now. No response. I just think I got to get myself a birthday present. One more time, identify yourself or we're gonna assume you as a combatant. No response. All right, prepare to get ass fucked. The fact that you just said that I will cherish this moment forever because now I have the real reason to unleash hell upon you. If that ship didn't have a reason to unleash hell upon us, it would have responded, so fuck it. No, oh, trust me. Six is better, though. Trust me, there are a couple of reasons why they were not responding to you. It's empty. Hopefully, maybe. See no filth. Yep, it's filled with necrons. I'm, I'm, good with, I'm good with Xenos. I, I'm Xenophile. <laughs> I get plus 10 to all fellowship tests. Yeah, it's the part when, you know, Eldar Forces starts to fuck with your mind that you start to realize, yeah, it didn't go the way I planned. They have literally failed every single repair test. And I've rolled a Good. couple in secrets as well. I just realized we've got the em emissary of the Imperator, don't we? So humans just think we're brilliant normally. Well, they think we are. People who necessarily don't like Emblems of the God Emperor being totaled about as the best thing ever will see us as really, guys, really. So if yeah. these are pirates or, you know, people who have for some reason hate the Ministorum. They're like, ooh, another target. But if they're God fearing humans, they'll be like, <gasps> uh, well, shit. Either way, we'll get plus 15 intimidate. Yep. Wait, is that actually some kind of hood ornament? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a giant statue of the God Emperor in front of the bridge. Holy shit, that's amazing. Yeah, it most forty k ships are flying cathedrals. Yeah. Ours is one with a gold statue. It's your turn. So it's the best flying cathedral. Yeah, it's oh, your so turn it's... again. Um, should we? Oh. I mean, they not move. You would. Yeah, they split they up. Drifted. No, I meant the other ship. Not yet. Oh. Did they go before us? Why don't they? Can move? I suggest we uh, focus the auger arrays on them too? Yeah, that's a point. Although... Yeah, I'll, I'll lube them up. Please say fiddle. <laughs> uh, shall I do the scrutiny thing then? Yep. The ovaries himself really shouldn't need any lube. Unless you're doing really unsavory things. With you lots, I can never people. expect to anything other than really unsavory stuff. Jesus. Plus 25. Oh, yeah. You are literally the opposite of a sausage roll. That's how unsavory you are. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, if Torian, if you're the one going to do it, the thing, you can get a plus 10 from me. Okay. So that's plus 35, plus 65. Well, you know. Because why not? Bonus is out of 5.9. 
on the Swordy class frigate. I'm just trying to find the damn thing again. Keep screwing up my bookmarks. I just realized these tokens you used for the enemy ships, they are the invisible hand from episode 3. The what? Uh, have you seen episode 3 of Star Wars? It's the big yes. ship in the beginning they board for two. Oh. I, I literally just grabbed uh, some tokens. I took the shuttle token because that's what we've been using in stars without number and then I just took the others because they were the most ship like thing with the I could find. Don't complain. I mean ship design was one of the few things I liked about the prequels, so So yeah, you managed to get all the information about their ship and the thing that stands out um I'm not gonna write you a list because that would mean I would actually have to look up each individual fucking components and I'm not going to do that because I'm too tired and it's not important. Basically, you see that this ship, this sword class frigate, have a bunch of additional mining equipment attached to it. Ah, so that's a Mechanicus one, probably. Both the servitors, we know that, yeah. That's something not right here. That would be, yeah. you know, one thing, one conclusion of it, at least. Yeah. If we... We still can't any, get any hailing from them. I suggest we uh, keep an eye on it. Mr. Virus, why don't you try hailing them in binary? I was actually going to suggest that. So you have acted this turn, so... Yeah. Yeah, we better move the ship as well, since that's the thing we have to do. Yeah, so... Do we just go half speed? Uh, yes, we should, because otherwise we're going to ram the other ship. That could be fun, though. No, we, we there's no point to it. We, we've already basically defeated them. Yeah, mm. but it, it'd still be fun. Do you even have the armored pro? Nope. Well, that's we could gonna... shoot them just for the hell of it. <laughs> I mean, we could do nothing. Just it would just unpower the systems that they might have got powered <laughs> back on. Honestly, unless you want to destroy this this ship, like more than it, like completely destroy it and just make it a, 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 a you know pile of dust <laughs> in space, we could can conclude combat because all of their ship, all of their crew are dead from uh, star uh, suffocation at this point. I think we kind of want to capture the ship, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I want to at least board breach. it to see if there's anything worth. Well, you can take the cargo lighter just now and go board yeah. it with some oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Hit and run thing. is five squares, so. Besides, it yeah. could be. Even if this is a long term investment, it's nice to have an extra thing. Ship, that's the word. Well, th that's the thing. Getting the ship would require us to repair it and stop it. Well, outside the forge world, it should be no problem. Yeah, I, I want to jump on board and see what there is. Whether there's any cargo or bounties, because there could be bounties. I've got a list of bounties. There might be a bounty on there, Kalinar. Uh, if you find some, bring some fingers, please. I need to double check what my. So you ship... take. So do you go yourself or do you take some some guards? What with I you? will do is because we've got the cargo lighter, I'm going to um, get as many people wearing void suits as I can, and take uh, fifteen crew with me, five with shotguns, ten with auto guns, all wearing the flak coats and void suits, and we're going to have a quick little boarding session. Excellent. So that's gonna yeah. take you. Yeah, some and time. Uh, I'm not going with, but I I just want to point out that because I'm, my role is captain, I can use my plus ten thing as a free action. Because I've forgotten this, and I wanted to say it on camera, so we have it. Excellent. So yeah, you can just roll down the window and shout to them to do a good job. Take take my uh, ballistic service gun with you. 
No, I'm fine without it, thanks. I um, prefer my help gun. I insist. What is hitting? Fine, I'll bring it with me. Maybe he finds some tech heretics he needs to shoot. Oh yeah, that's first up. Us piloting spacecraft test modified by the vessel's turret rating, but I don't think anyone is left to operate them. It doesn't count because even if even if the crew were alive to man the turrets or have someone tickle the consoles, the, it doesn't have any power to them. So, oh yeah, that's a fair point. Um, so piloting bollocks. Although... I've got a pilot to do it for me because I can't pilot. Actually... Yeah, I should probably unscramble the uh, communications. Yeah, maybe help. I do that. have pilot spacecraft. Yeah, well, you're Battlefleet, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you get it automatically. But damn, um, we need. Are you going to do the do the thing? I have done it this time. I've done it. So, just so that I get this right, we're now boarding this thing to get any possible cargo, and then we're going to go to the sort class, right? To possibly yeah. board them if they don't move? Well, I think I... we're going to try let Goralian talk to the sword class, because we think it might be full of Mechanicus folk. Yep. Anyway, I am on board the ship. And... Did yeah, I mean... You... Did you say there were... Well, I'd just rather command test anyway. Yep. An opposed one, so if depending on how many are left alive. Yep. And this is where it goes wrong. You failed to command I forgot I had uh, the special ability, plus five command to test while on board a spacecraft. Yeah. But it takes it up to a total of 36. Woo! Ooh. And you actually do it. Well done. That's yep, not you rolled your... a two. That's not your uh, Archmilton special ability, is it? It's Battlefleet. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Archmilton can pick one class of weapons or something. Yeah, be better. Sure. At. I've got plus ten percent to hit and plus two damage into initiative. Um, quick question: that plus ten to hit is it just basically my uh, weapon uh, ballistic bonus? Uh, plus, it's whenever it's plus ten percent. Yeah, it's because the roll is a percentile roll. So the percent sign is actually just superfluous. Yeah, it just means plus ten. Right, okay. That's it's a lot of stupid thing. Yeah. Because if it was plus 10%, it'd be like, what, plus 4? So, what exactly are you doing now? Are you boarding it or right. are you hit and run? I am. Um, well, I boarded it, but I was using the hit and run stuff to make sure I got there and the challenging, uh, the ordinary command test to actually see if. Uh, my crew is, my boarders are doing their thing. Yeah, see, that's why it didn't make any sense because there are two different things. So, what's the other one? Well, you said you did the hit and run stuff rather than the boarding stuff, but I guess the boarding stuff would be um, in combat where the ship's yeah. trying to maneuver while this is simply just the ship is drifting. He's just nipping up on a shuttle and just flying there. Yeah, I don't know which which one of the rules are would be more applicable, but yeah, I'll say you are on currently on the radar right now. The unpowered, okay. fucked up radar. Um, I'll have a quick look over the cargo bay because I assume we landed in the cargo bay or through one of the holes. Yep. Yeah. Are the... there any cargo containers? No, uh, no, it's currently empty. Okay, um, I want to head towards the bridge. Yep. Yeah, it, it takes you uh, uh, some time and you obviously you need... This is rough terrain, but I guess since you have that thing, 
zero G doesn't count for you as rough terrain. Yeah, I get uh, space travel sickness, slow G, not difficult terrain. Yeah, so for you it's probably not uh, any problem, but your crew uh, slows uh, slows down traveling in the ship because it, there is no atmosphere and no gravity, and one it stands to reason that the reason why the cargo bay is empty is because there's a massive hole in the side of it that just voided everything into space. All oh, right, okay. Missiles yeah, do that. Happens. So while you're playing around on the. Space Hulk at this point, what do the rest of you want to do? We're out of combat uh, for for right now, so you can feel free to do whatever. I will hail the sword class frigate in binary cant. Alright. That's the response you get in binary count. I translate that to the to the rest. So there is something on there. I'm guessing then that I don't get a sword class frigate this time. Oh well. Uh, how about you just tell them that uh, we weren't certain if they were lying in ambush, considering they were in the in the asteroid belt on silent. So we thought they were about to ambush us, but if they're of the Adeptus Mechanicus, we have no reason to quarrel. Probably yeah, also I mean, add that this is a rogue trader vessel. Yes, of course. We should identify ourselves if we ask for identification. Yeah, I mean, I give them a quick, uh, quick identification of our, of our ship and say that we just wish to know who you are. Yeah, they um, respond in binary cant with. Uh, uh, you know, a, a modest greeting to the rogue trader vessel and basically wishes you a good day and stop interfering with their mining operation. Very well. We should maybe ask them if this other ship was part of the mining operation. I think I think the I think the best we don't tell them anything. I just, you know, leave. Uh, Wait, can uh, we get uh, contact to Macarius? Like, does he have? Uh, I com do have a micro bead, but I'm not sure. I assume the light would have comms and the. My uh, servo school has a Vox. Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, Ask Macarius if there's any Mechanicus on that, uh, destroyed Mechanicus on that ship, or if it's human crewed. I don't think box or micro beads work on the tens yeah, of thousands of We have to be at uh, subspace communications, which I assume the lighter would have. And then you can just patch that through the box, yeah. Yes. Yeah, the, the cargo lighter has, because you would have to be planet side to pick up cargo and do long range you know, trans transports with it, so it has. But yeah, the ship continues just to f uh, fly off, so the longer you take in there, the, the longer, unless you break, find a way to break the ship, then you're just going to keep going until you hit something. Well, I'm just looking for anything. Um, as I get the comms back about the, um, if there's Mechanicus about, I start looking for the bodies 
or the people floating, are there any Mechanicus or red robed people? Nope. The, then the only and the only red robes you see are where people have been electrocuted or you know just dismembered and the blood everywhere. Okay. Uh, it appears that there's um, no Mechanicus here. They're just humans. Uh, I'm gonna try and work my way to the bridge see if I can get things powered up. All right, I'm bring back some fingers. We want to take this. What? Ship? Why fingers? Just left pinkies, please. Yeah, I still, I still would make the argument that having an extra ship, no matter the state of it, would be a good thing. Yeah, but first we need to find a way to stop it. Retro thrusters, simple. Shame you didn't send the guy who can repair the ship over to it. We have more. We have a shuttle, spare, and probably more lighters. It's fine. Yeah, maybe I just have inter interface move. my service call to the ship, and I can run a diagnose or something. I don't know. Even still, maybe we yeah. should move our ship after the floating wreckage. Yeah, we should, if possible, see that we can match speed right next to it. But yeah, Lady Captain, if you wish, I can get a team ready to uh, inspect and possibly repair this ship. Yes, that would be the best, I think. And five. Boop. I will do that. And also the Grey Circle, that's the one of the orbital stations. Right, okay, we're bloody close to it then. Yeah, you're dangerously close to it. Um, I will just... As I'm on the bridge, I will do what I know about uh, limited piloting and try and uh, stop the ship. You hit all the buttons, but there is no power to them. The machine spirits seems to be asleep. Um, uh, Magos, do you... I need some help. The ship's dead. Yes, I'm getting my team ready right now. Okay. Better make it quick. So I'll bring, like... I don't know, I guess I'll bring, like, a hundred of my best, uh... Ungent smearers. I forgot we had 15,000 dog crew. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't lose one. No, we've lost 20 because we voided them. <laughs> 21 because of Eris shot one. Right, oh, yes. <laughs> and the other 24 that were in the... Oh yeah, the, the, the actual that... victims. If you can call them victims. So, 45 in total. I think they would re be referred to as Mechanicus Adepts, not Ungent Spirits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's your opinion. Uh, just like the term Ungent Smear. Yeah, this is a Magus makes it sound us. slightly dirty. Gonna smear ungents all over you. All right. Um. Yeah, you get over there. It takes it takes some some time. And um, sort of has frigate in the asteroid belt doesn't bother you at all. Um. Yeah, you need to roll me some some tests. So first of all, right. how many systems were on that? If anyone has the handout open. Twelve. So you need to roll me twelve tech use to repair a, each individual system and each repair test is a minus 10 tech use all right i'll start with the engines to get them going as soon as possible may i suggest the life support we don't need to uh, might i suggest the plasma drive first so you have actually have power in the system yep yes by the that's way, probably a good idea by the way i just hand the vox wing over to the lady captain and, uh, and say, let them make it good. 
<laughs> I was just reading that. I think I have to. You have to be there. Damn it. Normally, they have to both see and hear me. The the captain thing gives me the thing to. I can do it to anyone who's abo aboard my ship. Ah, well, okay. well, it's your ship, it's man. It's your ship, yeah. Yeah, but the ship I am currently yeah. on, that's... <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'll start with the plasma drive, then. Yeah, it, it actually drive. says... Um, emergency repair, and this isn't emergency repairs. So you, you're you performing num normal repairs because this isn't a, isn't a combat scenario. Well, I, we kind of want to do it fast, though. At least with the plasma drive. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, you succeed. So roll me a d5, and that's how fast. Well, it's six degrees of success, so it's one anyway. Yeah, fair enough. So yeah, you, you take some time, like 30 minutes, and you have the plasma drive up and running. But I roll it because it's fun. And that means everything else is powered now. Yeah. Because that was the only thing that was an issue. So everything, all it was was unpowered. Yeah, so, well, the things that isn't catastrophically, catastrophically hole breached and crippled now has sufficient power. All right, then I'll just flip all the switches to get it dead in space, not moving. Do you have peace to machine spirit first? Oh, great machine spirit, do as I say or I'll blow you up. Sparks come out of the consoles. Alvarez, uh, 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 threaten it with the missiles. Please do. Yeah, threaten right. it with the missiles, damn it. I just like. I just, uh, you know, spread that sacred dungeons all over the place where he tried his thing and do it right. It is now glistening and very slippery. Uh, Cal, do we know what class of raider this was? Um, that's a good question. A uh, shitty one. Uh, unknown type. Badly. Then we... Oh, we are close to Forge World, I suppose. We can probably get some aid in identifying it there. By the way, Macarius, can you maybe look around if you see any insignias or anything that would identify whoever was steering this? That's you... a good idea. Uh... I would hate to suddenly show up with like uh, uh, at the station with like the the commission ship of uh, some nobleman. On the bridge, I'll go to the command chair. Yep. Is there anybody slumped over? Yes, there is one woman slumped over with a, what appears to be a quarterized uh, hole through her head. And there is like, a last pistol. Like no, from ah. temple to temple. And there is a last pistol lying on the floor next to her. Next to the I will floor. search her for any documents. So she didn't want to suffocate, I guess. There, you found no, find no documents. You found a deck of cards, though, but no documents. Oh, pocket them. Do you look at the cards first, or do you just pocket them? No, I, I just pocket them. All right. But, you know, you've got to do what you do. Um, On the bridge, is there any insignia that I'd recognize? Canicus, Imperial... Roll me a position. Roll me the criminal underworld thingy with dig. Common law, I guess. I know common law Imperial Navy. Uh, scholastic law or forbidden I know forbidden law pirate. Oh well, roll that then. I'm gonna use a fate point. Fuck. Damn it, if I was over there. I have common lore underworld and I have the ability to just spend the fate point to succeed. Uh, you have no idea who who could have possibly owned this ship. Yeah, I've got no insignia. I'll just calm this. I've got no insignia. No. 
just a random ship, I believe. All right. It was a female captain, but it's not that strange. Did you get her finger? No. Damn you. At least we... leave her there so I can get it myself. I like you said that a female captain isn't that strange. Yeah. Other female captain he knows about is currently having a nice bit of recaf. Your valets are, uh, are giddy with excitement that you you once again have led them to victory, oh noble Lady Captain Lan. I will then get my crew to scour any armories or crew. Basically, I'll go through the ship All as right. quick as I can, scouring it for anything useful. All 15 of my crew going around a several kilometer long ship. Yeah, it's basically the specs are 1.5, 1.7 kilometers long and 300 meters wide. And it's approximately 18,000 crew. What I'll do is I'll go through the command deck and any command quarters initially. Yeah, um, you, you find some documents in the captain's quarters, but nothing out of the ordinary otherwise. Like, okay. as I said, nothing out of the ordinary, so the standard, you know, um, flak, armor, last piss, last weapon stuff, like common Imperium stuff. Nothing yeah, out I'll, of the ordinary. I'll, I'll grab a last pistol, I guess. Grab a couple, so that's at least enough for the brass. Like, yes, I'll grab any I'll last pistols I find. I would like the best quality one I started with. It would take me literally take me the rest of the night to describe oh, no, no, all this all the stuff you you find here. So I'm just gonna say that you find nothing out of the ordinary unless you want to do some, uh, if you want to roll search, for example. Uh, well, think... Cal, have you rolled oddities and history on this ship? Uh, no, I probably should. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, because that could be, depending on the result, that could be interesting. Yeah. Good point. And probably have to retcon some, if it gets one, or if it gets a relic or more, so seeing for Phileas, we probably have to retcon some of the stuff it got. Or rather one thing. The thing is, I just took, took the stat blocks from one of the NPC ships, so it didn't have any mention of the oddities and such. Yeah, but because it, no matter what we do with yeah, it, it's now a PC ship, so... I know, I know. I, I'll, I'll do that now. I'm just trying to find the damn page. Where am I? One, one nine eight. Yeah, one nine eight and one nine nine. Right, so is there anything else you want to do other than plunder the ship and bring it aboard into the station with you? No. Four and nine rebellious. And finances and arrears. Nothing no. showing you then. Kind of fits if we think it's a pirate vessel. Yeah. It was rebellious and it was purchased with less than clean money. Huh. Means that we could yeah. Interesting. It might be valuable to the Mechanicus. But my plan of a great grand fleet. Well, let's see how long it would take to actually repair it. I'd like to get the hull repaired and everything, and if it takes too long, we can just sell it. Or we can yeah. trade it for another one. Mm, we'd have to trade it for a lower down vessel. I mean, we could maybe trade it for some upgrades for our current ship. Well, our current ship is upgraded to the max. What we could do is trade both ships for an upgraded, upgraded cruiser with possibly fighter base. Or we are we... not getting rid of the Ferrugo. We could I trade so. the small ship, the broken ship, for pretty much just a transport ship. 
And then just fill all the cargo bays with spider craft. Bays, yes. Yeah. Yes, we See can you go. do that, yes. Yeah, and that makes you happy now? What you always wanted? Yeah. By the way, once you're back with that last pistol, I'm gonna be a seneschal with six weapons strapped to me. Uh, can you read okay. up on the repair, extended repair thing on page 229 for me? 229, eh? Well, we need to find suitable anchorage, so... The dock there, assuming we can get permission to dock. Now I have spent several weeks on the repairs. Member must direct them with a tech use turn. So yeah, your your request docking permission to land at the to dock at the repair platform in high anchor on uh, the Forge World, and they uh, request you they grant your request to you take bo both ships into uh, one of the docks, and obviously you request uh, for your for the new newly acquired raider. To undergo some extended repair, so you would need to. We can close with that as you make the repair tests. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, beloved. We're within 10 VUs of this station. We've just boarded a ship, and now we'll be like, Yeah, can we uh, repair it here? What are we doing? Repairing a ship. Someone needs to make repair checks. Yeah, this is extended repairs in dry dock on the Mechanicus repair platform in high anchor around Theron 5. So you're handing off all repairs to the Mechanicus on the platform. So while you are here, uh, this is not the storage platform, this is just a repair platform. Is there anything you wish to do here? Or otherwise you can take the cargo loader to either the storage or down to the planet itself. Um, not that I can think of, just when I ensure that a ship gets repaired. Yeah, that's the main thing at the moment. And perhaps we'd need some crew. Yeah, we might need a refilling. Or... Uh, where to find that one? Bloody rules. I don't know if a forge world is the best place to find people. Never know. It comes from the Mechanicus. I mean, we'll find good mechanics. Well, they need someone to work in the forges, and they definitely don't leave it to the tech priests. And, you know, people, people have a tendency to create more people. So it says that you can perform uh, repairs yourself with the help of the crew. So you just need to do an extended repair test. Do I want to do that, though? Well, you tell me. Because the stuff you did now was just to make sure, you know, cobble together 
a system so you could actually have power to it and, and maneuver it roughly. And now you need to start repairing the whole damage and, and such to make it actually fitted for void travel again. Are we gonna stay here and repair the ship? I think it might be a good idea to spend some time to repair the ship, transfer some crew across so we can get it flying so we can then land that planet to replenish both crews. I mean, we could uh, leave the ship here to get repaired while we go to planet to do our business and then come back. Good day. I mean, if it's going to take a couple of weeks, we might as well go back and forth between the planet and here, do whatever is necessary. Do I have to, like, stay here if I'm directing the people? Um, This is a Mechanicus platform, is it? Or is it just a base? Everyone here. Yeah, this is the Mechanicus repair platform uh, yeah, in orbit. Yeah, this is the repair platform for Mechanicus. I mean, in that case, they know what they're doing to repair the ship. So we can just leave it in, and I sh because it's Mechanicus platform, it should be in safe hands. But I will leave a few security crew. Yeah, I mean, the difference is that we'll have to make, like, acquisition tests if we want them to repair it. Otherwise, it's just take use for me. If I understand correctly. Yeah. Well, if if you stay, I'll, I'll stay. Uh, I'll double the security crew. Is that... Are we agreed that I... Take care of the repairs. I mean, you're here. We have a guarantee that it will be done good, good and smoothly. Yeah. But if we are going down to the planet surface to do the deal and hand of the thing, might be handy to have Varus there. Ah, that's well, true. here's the thing. Like, it's going to take him multiple weeks to do right so he's not going to work 24 hours a day so we might as well just like he works during the day and in the evening we go down for a couple of hours to do our business and then we go back to the station where he can continue his work were any of the components actually destroyed on the radio? Uh, they took only you know that to be honest i don't think they were destroyed they there were a couple of took Crits. No, wait, they didn't take crits. They, they were unpowered the, by the yeah, crit, right? They were unpowered by the crit, which I assume they just shorted lots of things out. There were some mini explosions. All right, because just it, it, out. it basically says that if a component was destroyed, it needs to be repurchased again. Otherwise, you can just repair it. Yeah, we didn't destroy anything. That would be quite something else. Yeah, so we pretty much all we did was piss off the tech sprites and the machines. So they powered everything off. Yeah, basically. And we put a few holes in it. So that yeah. needs to be patched up. But yeah, we know now that missiles are damn good. Is it possible we can call it here yeah yeah i'm just gonna get to the last thing so for every week of repair the one of the crew members directing the repair work will do a tech use and if the successes uh, outnumber the failures then you have successfully repaired it and honestly it's late and these rules are a bit of a hassle, so let's call it here and we can figure it out between sessions. So we have it and figure out a name for it. Yeah, exactly. So we have all all that sorted for for next week. So absolute last thing then, uh, are we all good for Thursday next week? 
Um, should be unless things yeah. come up. Yep, should so. be as well. Excellent. Yep. All right. Thanks for playing, guys. It was a fun session. Um, and thank you for watching, despite the fact that no one is watching. But thank you <laughs> anyway. See you well, next week. Well, we, had, we did have people watching. <laughs> Goodbye. We had one guy. We did combat.